has both a boob and a butt anime pad. Welcome to Oof My Wallet, a production of the TF Talk Network. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more. And follow us on Patreon and all other social channels at TFYLP. Enjoy the show. One of the things I'm showing tonight went on sale this week after I already picked it up from you. Well, that's great. DDBD. That's great because we are live now. And this is oof, my wallet. And this is the second episode with me in charge, which, you know, I don't know if that's good or bad, but but it's happening. And I am your host, Paul. And I got some fresh faces with me tonight. We got Mr. Stop. Swift. What's up, everybody? We got Chicago Phil. Hey. And we have the lovable Anna. The not fresh face. Yes, the one that everyone's used to. And we're, you know, like like myself, we are old and crusty. And here to talk about the toys we got recently. And tolerable. Old, crusty, and tolerable. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I was going to do something new. I was going to, like, draw out of a hat who gets to go first and start the order because I'm so sick of everyone being like, who goes first? But I, I forgot until just now. So uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Swift, you, you're going to lead us off tonight. How's that? Oh, man, where do we want to start? Start somewhere weird. Uh, we'll start weird. We'll start weird. We'll start here. Because we were talking <laughs> oh, about it. <laughs> About uh, two minutes ago. Um, yeah. Nicey. I didn't get to be on last week with Anna. When she, but it, I watched it. It was great. But uh, it's my turn. Uh, here she is. In all of her glory. She's very and, nice. Uh, she's very, it's a good figure. I'm just putting it out there. It's a good figure. If you can get past the awkwardness. If you feel awkward about it. I collect anime figures. I don't feel awkward about this at all. <laughs> like this is not as far as certain things have gone. Um, so, but yeah. So what, what, what makes that in your mind, yeah. like a good figure? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's fairly well posable. I mean, it's not like, I mean, I don't think anything's ever going to be like Lamble and third party figures I've gotten on posability, but it's fairly posable. Transformation's easy. Uh, it, it's like it's not hard. It's a good in between. It transforms well. Um, the car mode looks great. Like uh, usually the problem with RC is car mode always looks awful. Like I feel like it, they, it's always where they they you know to to pull off this slender female form in in robot mode they always make the car mode look awful. Um, and this one doesn't. Like, the car mode looks great. Um, also, it's, like, pearlescent all over. The white, the pink, it's all pearlescent. Um, it just looks nice. And uh, and I think the only thing that I was disappointed about is it didn't come with the RC head. It's got this, like, anime-style RC head instead of, like, the RC RC head. Um, I feel like maybe Masterpiece has something to do with that. Um, hey, it comes with an extra head, though. It does come with an extra head. I don't have that one on here. Uh, you Surprise. Get, like, <laughs> I posted pictures in the Discord. It's you can make it look like a, you can make it look like it's a her being a silly face, but it's an Ahego face. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it is what it is. It Most is of the internet is. caught on to it and has made it what it is. But uh, yeah, that's that. I get to talk about it and, and like it this week <laughs> i mean i haven't heard any disparaging comments about nicey but... no it and i think i think we all would have gotten over her bust 
if they didn't include the optional uh, squishy bits. I think that's the only part. Of that's the part that went too far and made people get really awkward about it. That's not the part <laughs> that bothers me. But hey, it's the box. I'm just kidding. The box is hilarious. I forgot. I was gonna actually pull it out and I forgot. I um, packed mine away. Yeah, like, I snuck into the garage week. with it and packed it away so my husband wouldn't see it. Phil, you're pretty quiet. Do you, what do you have to say about Nicey? I mean, look at that. Yeah. That's <laughs> foil print on that box. That's really, that's classy. That, that's my overall thought with that toy is they made a really high quality, mildly awkward toy. Yeah. Yeah. That's really what it is. I mean, it's really good. It's like, I have a feeling the big Firebirds prices are going to go up after a couple figures just because of how nice that figure is it's nicer than most figures at its price point you have to be able you have to be willing to walk that uh that anime line i feel like it's a crossover that is probably a pretty wide crossover into our our community as a whole but um it definitely doesn't extend to everybody (laughs) and it's actually been one of the best things about us getting on discord is that you and i have started talking and i've realized that you and i both kind of straddle that anime fan transformers fan line we were both very disappointed when uh flame toys windblade got uh reworked yeah oh the rework's not the rework's not too bad but the rework's fine did it but i thought it was fine as is what actually happened there? Because I, I thought they posted photos and it was the same toy again. It has a little more armor on it. Hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's a little different. They didn't change it too much. Um, and it looks a lot a lot like uh, one of the pieces of concept art did anyways. Like, um, But yeah, they, it, they just made it a, a few places a little less, like, um, I guess, human detailed and a little more robot detailed. Well, when Might that one comes out, one. we'll have to have a pretty lengthy discussion. I'm sure some of us will be picking So long as it's not part of the Fury Action line, because apparently that line's going to be really expensive now. No, Wait, it's a making, model. They're making the Furies expensive? Those are the cheap the, ones. The Fury Action. The models. Fury Action was... Uh, the first two releases in Fury Action were the Optimus and Megatron that were pre-assembled and oh, painted. Oh, yeah. Those are like but 80 bucks. But Primal... Primal is the third one in the Fury Action line. It's two hundred bucks. <laughs> All right. Well, but what's, so what's the difference between that line and like their Star Saber and Tarn and in those? Big difference. Uh, this is the model kits that you you have to assemble, or they now they have they're talking about the pre-assembled ones. Okay. But they're still like the model kit. Um, yeah. Quality and build, you know, it's still like plastic. Yeah. Yeah, and the Karakuri gotcha. or. I, I'm probably butchering it. Those are the pre-assembled, like wildly awesome, super articulated metal parts. Um, yeah, you know, four hundred and up cost of figure. Because that's what I assumed the primal was part of that, because it had that aesthetic. No, I, I, the, it, I think it's got die cast and it's got pretty good mm. paint and it's got like articulated fingers and stuff. I, I think they just decided to make the Fury Action line a, an in-between line, but I feel like it's, it's just a little too expensive. Is yeah. it gonna be? Is it smaller than the? Yeah, it's like the tarn and whatnot. Inch. Yeah, it's okay. six inch. Where I think those are usually like eight inch. Okay. Well, well I don't want us to get too far off topic because uh, <laughs> this is turning into an episode of TFYLP. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I guess we don't have any of those. <laughs> but look forward off. for us to get those because we. I think some of us are interested in those. Um, you know, some of those flame toys figures, and sounds like some of them have a place. In oof my wallet, so. <laughs> that one's lit. Uh, Anna, how about we hear from you next? Yeah, I mean, I just picked up my toy because I thought I would go next, so <laughs> I had already decided that I would go next. All right, so I have more weird crap that nobody's gonna know what it is, and two out of three of my things, no one will probably have ever heard of. We'll see. So this is much like the pink and purple plane. That I showed off last week. This is a armored vehicle robot thing from that same Chinese line of robot transformers. It's a pretty cool truck thing. I don't have his legs right right now, but they're close enough. 
because his feet are just in the back there. It's, uh, it's like the only kind of height. flaw with it is that his face is just <laughs> right there. on the top of the car. He's just a big old cannon head. Yeah, he is. You can say he's a cannon, but literally the transformation is you just flip these up. There's your robot. Yeah, he's he's a cyber. What was the name of the Cybertron figure? Thunder Blast. Is that Thunder right? Thunder Blast. Yeah. Yeah, he is her brother, and just as awfully parts are not parts formery, shell formery. He's like champion level shell forming. Get his arms the shoulders down. slash front of the armored car. At first, I thought it was some sort of remold of Combiner Wars onslaught. Yeah, he's got some some onslaught to him and the way he feels. I think he looks like some sort of evil robot priest myself. But yeah, I was I was gonna say he's like is a, he a priest or a cardinal with that priest? high of a hat. Is he like advanced in the yeah. the robot priesthood? It's there? Like cardinal. It's the he might be approaching pope. Pope of Darkness. Yeah. A robot <laughs> Pope of Darkness. Catherine Klein uh, thinks that looks pretty cool. So you do have at least one fan of your your wild. wild yeah, she agrees my weird collecting, which is good. Yeah, it's. I think this one is great myself. Like this, I got three of these from that line, so I'll have something for next time. I have one more to show off, and um, the pink one from last week. I like it, but you know the robot mode barely moves. You know, it's it's pretty much a stationary toy. This one has, you know, pretty standard 10 years ago transformer articulation, you know, normal arm movement, no no ankle tilt, no wrist articulation, but you know, its arms and legs move just fine, shoulders and hips and whatnot, and knees, and the head's on a ball joint, so it can look all around. And I mean, that's just a really fun head. He either is some sort of evil priest or a mind flare from D D. So either of those are perfectly fine. Why not <laughs> both? Me. He's an evil, yeah. evil priest mind flayer. Transformers need more evil priests. Don't mind flayers have religion? That's sure they do. You can Whoa. play with the back panels to make them kind of expand one way or the other. Yeah, is that like a cape? He has uh, like... Sure. He has tails? <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's basically just there's a truck on his back. I- I'm digging it. Slap some, uh, slap a bunch of just Decepticon symbols on him. <laughs> he's the him he's up. the Pope of this, the Decepticon religion. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty cool. Like he actually looks, he looks good with my other figures. Like I can put him with a lot of my other lines, and he looks right with them because he's really well painted. He's really well detailed, and like he's high quality plastic and everything. So he looks just fine with everything else. Catherine's also saying that could be Heretech. Heretech. <laughs> Good name. From the uh, IDW story. Yeah, it's got a very G1 level transformer sort of transformation simpleness to it. Obviously, the, the articulation and the paint is much better, but there's a sort of like, eh, we'll make this work sort of G1-ness to it. Yeah, I was really happy with this one. This one was probably the most impressive of that line for me. The third one I have is pretty cool too, but it looks like it's completely unpainted, whereas this one is like lovingly detailed and painted. So it's cool to me. Is that like a is it like lavender or is that straight up silver? It is a metallic lavender. Huh. It looks really cool in person. In a lot of photos, it just looks straight purple. Like, you don't realize how metallic it is, but it's actually a really cool metallic purple. It's really... It's a fun toy. Like, it's nobody, right, for us. I'm sure there's some sort of cartoon or something to go with it. And it's country of origin. But not here. Is no there, idea. Is there, like, a backstory? Like, are these not just KO companies? This is, like, potentially... Uh... An alternative transforming toy line in China? I mean, it's, or... it's a pretty big toy line, like, yeah. just from what Search Boys has. He has, like, 15 from this line. A couple combiners and, like, 10 or so of this size. I will eat my own shoe if, like, 10 years from now, Anna's, like, sitting on gold. 
<laughs> just because I like these stuff. crazy things that she's that like the uh, yeah. Big by See, the way. That was my thought just now. There's some like trans trans uh, Chinese collector watching this. Like she took it out of the package. How could she? <laughs> <laughs> I never even got a package. Wow. Yeah, it wow. never had one. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty cool. Ah, it's a cool toy. The, gun, like, the again, gun looks good, too. Like, it's a good shape. Yeah, it's got a good gun. It's it's pretty simple. And it sticks in his hand kind of awkwardly because he's got this big old chunk over his hand. But, you know, I think he's really cool. I'm really happy with this one. It, you know, for me, I don't have to have them be, you know, like a G1 character or a Beast Wars character or something. If it's just a cool robot toy, I'll take it. There's nothing wrong with cool robot toys. Other than if I started collecting every cool robot toy, I'd have no money. My room. It is full <laughs> of mistakes. <laughs> robot mistakes. Lots of oofs. Lots of oofs. So, um, well, how about Chicago Phil? What, what, what do you got? <clears throat> All right. Newbie. Let's see. Uh, nah, no one likes that guy. Uh, I don't know that was. Nah, who cares about that? Uh, all right. Not going to open this guy yet because this is actually a Christmas present for my son. Uh, <laughs> but Iaconis, the the titan of Iacon from Transformers Cyberverse. Um, I watched the show. My son watched it. I kind of wasn't paying attention to it because season one was sort of lame. Uh, but as we started watching it, season two got more interesting and season three is awesome. Like this dude has an awesome, awesome battle scene in the show with another character that I kind of hope they make. Um, it's it's alt mode is I have no idea what that is supposed to be. Vacuum. I mean, he turns into a city, but it sort of looks like a city that floats and got thrusters that go the wrong direction. Um, <laughs> He's a I, don't, snowblower. I have no idea. <laughs> it's, it's so like, this feels like a toy that should be from a random Chinese or Korean toy line <laughs> that has nothing to do with transformers, say, but it is, it not only is a transformer toy, but it even says on the box, where is it here on the box? Uh, yeah. Authentic transformers It's not just transformers. It is authentic transformers. So I want you to know it's real. Yes, yes. This is not some weird Mexican knockoff. Um, I mean, the, the robot mode looks pretty awesome. It looks very imposing. Um, I really am excited for my son to get this. I don't think he knows this exists as a toy. Uh, and it has like a, a feature where it, this doesn't look like his robot mode. This, this sort of you see his head a lot in the show. And then by the time you see him actually as a, a, a robot, his head looks more like this Energon head right here. So I'm very curious to get, you know, him to open this up and get it out of the package and put the sword on, flip up the Energon armor, because I, I, I really hope that does look as neat and cool as it did on the show. Cause it was, it was a surprisingly enjoyable moment in transformers, just medium. I think probably, um, next to the Bumblebee movie, probably the most enjoyable thing of Transformers I've seen Man. on on it's screen like, in I the last like five I need years. To watch this again, <laughs> or try watching this again. Again, season one, just just kind of ignore it. If you start with season two, it builds, and season three, season three adds a bunch of new characters. Season three, um, just has some crazy out there storylines. I will say that like the first half of season three rips off the matrix, like, like no, like, yeah, just going full on. What if, what if transformers ended up in the matrix? Um, and then it just gets kind of crazy. Um, and, and they've done cool toys from it. I got, I got more to show from that line later on tonight, but, um, you know, new characters. I mean, I would, I would say this show to me and the way these toys look, remind me a lot of Transformers Animated, where the yep. show had a distinct look, the figures represent that distinct look very well, and and you got some cool new characters, because, I mean, Lockdown came out of Animated, and I hope that some of these new characters they brought into Cyberverse stick around. But, yeah, Iaconis. Boom! Drop that mic. Here we go. 
I have a feeling that that toy is somewhat for you as well as your son. So once Christmas comes, everyone will be happy. Yes. <laughs> yes. But I think he will, that'll be like a, I can't, I can't decide if that is going to be a from mom and dad or from Santa toy. I mean, that's a big, you know, you got to remember it as a child, like that's a big toy, right? Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a ultimate class. So I don't know. Depends. depends if you have anything else to give them that'll make you a hero, unless you want to give it to some uh, fantasy man. I got, I got some, some Lego sets for him that he's going to flip out on too. So, yeah. Yeah, no, he's he's. He, I got a spoiled kid, like probably most collectors <laughs> do. I got a spoiled kid. Hopefully, he isn't watching this show. No, he's in bed. Yeah, you know, I have not seen that toy in stores, and I know no. it, it showed up at a few um, Myers, and I was I was looking for it because you know it's like the last ultimate toy um, in the Cyberverse line, and I just kind of wanted to check it out to see what it what it um looked like and i just really haven't had a chance have, it was have, on sale the other day with amazon as well oh, with their it? little flash oh, sale yeah. they had the other day well that's, it seems like online is probably the way to get that because i just have not I, I mean and those have not been moving those ultimate class figures they're like shelf forming so i mean when you have like hardcore transformers fans saying i haven't seen that show i should probably watch it that probably doesn't help the line it, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's hard because it's so ki- it's for kids, but and they tried real. I wouldn't say they tried; they successfully bridged the gap in the way that, like, say, animated would back in the day. Mm-hmm. But that first, they had to tie it to the Bumblebee movie aesthetic, and, I, and when I say aesthetic, more like um, concept, you know, of, of Bumblebee being the the star because the movie was coming out. That they kind of. Um, they weren't able to hit a lot of great storytelling that was adult. They kept it really kid focused, and luckily they aged it up season over season. So yeah, I mean, what I have heard through the grapevine by other people is just um, that the real innovative Transformers storytelling is being done in Cyberverse, not like War for Cybertron. So, but no one's checking it out because they can't get past the get past the stigma. Stigma of non-talking bumblebee. I hope that is behind us forever. I would love that. Yeah. Speaking of bees, it's my turn. I'm not talking about bumblebees. I'm talking about bugs. I got some bugs. Oh. I got a bug bite with some Man, purple guns. Really white. Yeah. Well, it's is all, that all painted? It's all painted. Yeah. As far as, I mean. Nice. Yeah, it's got that paint, that paint like sheen to it. So I'm pretty sure it's all, it's all painted. And it's got that, um, what's it, what do you, what do you call it, the mercenary symbol there? Mercenary. Yeah, that was totally not in the card game first. Totally made for the show. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this is the bumblebee like head sculpt, right? Does anyone know for sure? Not for sure. I guess it is. It looks like it. I, I, yeah. It definitely could be, but it also could be unique. Because, like, the horns are kind of, they're not, like, really spiky. They're kind of, like, cliff jumpery, but it definitely. Actually, I just don't have the cliff jumper toy, so I haven't really been able to do anything. Yeah, it's not the cliff jumper head, for sure. Okay. But it's the cliff jumper car mode, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. It's... Th- that would be what? Yeah. If, if it's a new head, that would be a fourth head, because you got hubcap, cliff jumper, bumblebee, and if that is new. That would be number four. Yeah. I I love this is a great mold. I don't care what anyone says about it. it's too it's expensive. Good mold. It's uh the colors are great. I love I love Bug Bite the character. I love um I got the I got the classics one. I think I have all of them. because uh, there was just the e hobby one and the classics one from Botcon and now this. So is his face a little purple there, or is that... Nope. Nope, it's okay. just straight silver. Straight silver, and the only purple is the guns, and the guns just come apart like... Yeah, he, he doesn't have any, like, the pinstriping or anything like the classics did, right? He's just no. Salt. He is just black, black plastic, and, and you know, white, white-painted white plastic. Which I, I kind of, th- you know, 
I, when I looked at it or I saw pictures online, I was like, man, that just looks really bland. But if it's a nice white, like painted, and it's not just molded white plastic, it, it look probably look pretty good in person. I would imagine. Is that faction symbol like a dark purple or is that black? Um, it is a midnight black. Um, ah. Matches the other black on the black toy. But thanks, Paul. I like him. <laughs> I feel like because it's so shiny, the, the purple of the weapons is really reflecting in, in the rest of the paint job. Yeah, it, it might. Well, and plus my our background is purple now, so it is, you know, my screen probably okay. reflecting on it more so than anything. Um, also, I didn't know that this little bit, like, could attach on his arm. Like, there's, like, this weird nub right there. Oh, yeah, that's definitely my computer. I can see the, the purple coming off of it. And it attaches right in his arm. And it's in the instructions. That's the only way I found it. So then he has, then some he has weird, a wrist thing. Some weird attachment. Anyways, this is the latest select. Fresh fresh off, uh, fresh out of the plane with parachute high, coming from the sky. Uh, looks good. Gets Man, I got to say, a, lo a lot of the selects, some of the promo shots are not doing it justice. Um, mm -hmm. the G2 Megatron promo shot didn't look good. The in-hand pictures look a lot better. That looks much better than the promo shots. The Super Megatron, the promo shots didn't look good. The in-hand shots look great. So they are, uh, I would say, at least from my perspective, they're losing sales by not doing better promo shots on some of these. I mean, with an online only exclusive, which is essentially what these are, like all your entire marketing budget should be based on I mean, all you have is the photos, so they need to be good. <laughs> well, I think they're doing too much with the computer renders instead of the the in hand, and the computer renders aren't. They're just not showing that that gloss, that shine that the in hand you know toy you just showed is. But the photographer can't mistransform the the renders. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's a delicate situation. I, I'm with you. I don't. I don't love the renders. I mean, I, I do like to see them, but I mm -hmm. sometimes Hasbro is lazy or, you know, they, they this is how it usually goes. They announce it, here's renders, and then it's getting produced, and then soon after that, before it's about to come out, they get their samples, they take the photos, and they get the box samples, and they, that's your second round of promo, but a lot of times that second round never comes. Like, there's a lot of Studio Series toys that do not have in-package official photos like uh, Skipjack and Blitzwing and that whole cliff jumper wave. Like there's, there isn't any, they exist somewhere. I just bet they weren't, you know, the button never got pressed to send them out to people. So, but, but it turns into a quite a bit of oof, my wallet situation. If you see the renders and say, nah, I'm going to pass. Absolutely. Then you see the real toy and it's like, yeah, too bad. So sad. It's sold out, sold out. <laughs> jump on eBay, true. you know, overpay someone else. Don't be snoozing. Name of the game. Yeah. Oh, goodness. So uh, I'm I'm done with that one. Are we ready for round two? Are we going to go on a round two tonight? Should have a round two. The, the I got more. Oh. Round two. Foot. We start with we, we just same order? Oh, yes. shoot. Same order. Yes. I just knocked nice C over into no, all my not nice. Gear figures. Is there a nice figure and another oh. nice C? <laughs> That's so, a lot of really sushi. religious night. I got uh, I got the Seacons in the correct colors. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Someone other hates me for saying that. Um, but yeah, I got, uh, got Neptune. Woo. If you didn't notice by all the stuff behind me, if you can make out what's behind me, I'm a Beast Wars fan. And uh, I love this thing. I'm so glad that I, I, I'm getting rid of the other ones because I have the right one now. Um, now that it happened. Um, and it's all thanks to, to uh, this guy I know, I don't know, Mr. Starscream, you know. Wow. Someone hooked me up. So, yeah, that's not out yet, right? That's kind of an early... Like, it's Hasbro, at least that's not what Hasbro pulls. Yeah, to. no, it's not It's not Hasbro. It's 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 Takara. Nice. So, um, so like, initial... Th when you got it in hand versus what you expected, kind of like what we were just discussing about the promo stuff, was there a big, um, big discrepancy between your expectations and what uh, you actually got? Well, I mean, so we had a lot of discussions in uh, 
in the discord on whether or not the white or the plastic was going to just be absolute garbage um soap you know looking plastic um and it's not it's it's nicer um it's like a pearl eh, well i like to say that it's like pearlescent all over but it's it's kind of dull um but the green is pearlescent um but it, it doesn't it i i don't I don't have a lot of experience with the other figures that they've had recently that um, have had really bad white plastic, but this doesn't feel bad. Um, you have to, obviously, you have to, uh, you have to be fine conceding to the, uh, the design limitations of the Combiner Wars figures, because, you know, they, they do what they do, and they don't do what they don't do. Um but yeah, good stuff. I don't know where he's. He, there's no shelf for him to fit on. He's too big, and everything is jam packed behind me. How's that? I think that we would call him or them pearlescent if we, we didn't have Nicey. I think you and I are yeah. the two wrong people to talk about what this color is because Nicey is so pearlescent. This is supposed to be pearlescent. Yeah, I, I I feel the same way. Like it, it's supposed to be, but comparatively, it's it's night and day, uh, nicey compared to compared to God and Neptune here. Yeah, in most of your collections, she'll look pretty pearlescent, but in ours, it's not because I was surprised by how many colors they got on figures like this. Because you know, this is basically from pictures. It looks like a one color figure. But it's actually like three or four. And that made me really happy. And then no soap plastic, thank goodness. So it's really, really white. It's the white you wanted. It is, yeah. It's a nice looking white. Like the plastic doesn't look bad. Like that eight face plastic just doesn't look like your plastic. So my assumption is that you guys uh, both were going to show this figure tonight? No, mine just happened to be on my desk. Oh, okay, good. Then we didn't overlap. Nope. It, um, I I think it looks pretty cool now that I mean that's really the first I've really seen of it. I didn't yeah. see it in person. Um, oh man, it makes me want the 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 original one though. <laughs> that would be a real oof. <laughs> Is it expensive? Oh, the original now? Got an uh, I don't know. I haven't. It's been a while since I looked for it. I feel like it was not necessarily cheap. Not hmm. you know, but not necessarily it's expensive. Reasonable. Yeah. Christian just got rid of his, so he'll know if you ask him. My, yeah, I have to look. my spidey senses would tell me, and this might, you know, be me thinking back to when a long time ago, that it, it should be less than the new one. But that's probably that ship has sailed a long time ago. I think it is, but, but I'm not certain on that. It's so like under two hundred bucks is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's been a long time since I looked for it. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not certain. Well, the new one is certainly a great stand-in if you don't have the old one. So oh, it's nice. It sizes a lot better with the rest of the the rest of the uh, the line. <laughs> if you want to stick it on your uh, Beast Wars second shelf. Well, cool. It's a real looker. I think uh, Anna, you're next. If unless you got anything else to say, Mike. No, you think we're gonna go one more round? Because if not, he's really cool. Get him. He's one of the best masterpiece figures ever. I think we'll probably do a second round or a third round or a million. Well, I'll oh, talk are about we? here. I'll talk it's about him. It's important to know because I'm saving the best for last. We're going three, dogs. We're going three. All right. <laughs> Then we'll go media. Knocking nicely. Yeah, stop knocking nicely around. That paint's gonna eventually chip. <laughs> Don't say so, that. I went really like kind of random and got a 2013 TF COD exclusive. Seven years I, ago, for those of you, I feel like that is count. pretty random. Yeah. Like, what inspired that person? Yeah. So this is Roswell. Which is, you know, made by iGear. If anyone had the iGear Cosmos mold, it is iGear Cosmos as Pathfinder. 
Oh, the Gobot, yeah. Yeah. So it comes with a nice little plastic stand with a bar. And I like to have modernized versions of the different Gobots. So, you know, I have I have them in various different things. A lot of them are my new age figures. Like I have the new age version of her too, but it's just like too bright of a blue for me. I don't really like, I like it as a blue cosmos, but I like this one better as a pathfinder. I think it just works. It's a little bit closer to how she's supposed to look to me. Cause I just, I want that classic look, you know, this was one of my, the original pathfinder is one of my childhood toys. So I played yeah, with them a lot. Yeah, she was like a gunmetal gray, the the original toy. Yes, somehow she's turned into this blue color since joining the Transformers. But <laughs> yeah, definitely a gray color toy before. But yeah, this is um, as like, far as I gear molds. I feel like this is a a watershed moment for you, Anna. You got someone to talk to talk to about GoBots. <laughs> I do. It's true. I do love GoBots. I, GoBots were underrated. Um, yeah, they, they had a lot of weird, cool alt modes that Transformers never really did because Transformers started going alien vehicle versus real world and GoBots did a ton of real world stuff. Although this is alien vehicle. So I guess my point is the alien vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it's kind of a bummer because every time they repaint Cosmos as Pathfinder, it looks nothing like Pathfinder. She, she was, was slim. She had the flat. little wings. She had the, the the cool face. Yeah. i like to see that design made again. I'm really hoping yeah. that um, New Age, the Legends Company, they repaint a lot of their figures as GoBots. So I'm hoping that at some point they repaint, you know, more of them and make them, you know, more, choose some accurate ones. Like the bug bite they did looks a lot like the bug bite that Paul has. And it's super pretty. Just tiny. You know, it's it's this big. Yeah. So it's anybody. So yeah, I just, uh, a mysterious friend of mine happened to be getting rid of this and told me. And I was like, this can hang out on my shelf with Cliff. So they can be blue science lady friends. Now was that, um, was the original part of the the same line that was getting uh, new figures, the what Machine Robo or whatever it was. Because um, I know that some of the GoBots have gotten new figures recently. Oh, yeah. The Action. Yeah. Is it Action Toys that makes those? I can't remember. Um, I was just wondering if, you know, if I don't know if that line's still continuing or not, but if there was a chance for them to be, uh, you know, to get to something like that. Uh, I think it's a no, but I know that they've still released a few toys. I don't know if they have anything else planned. I'm definitely not the knower of knowledge on that one. Yeah. So, I don't actually have any of that line. So you got that. Let's talk about how you how you came in came into it. So you said a friend just happened to be getting rid of it, and you just were the first person they thought of? Well, a mysterious friend of mine, yes. Yes. <laughs> For the show, who knows that you know i have a thing for collecting gobots characters and i wanted a good pathfinder for a long time and he knew that i would think this was at least better than the one i had so <laughs> i would probably want it so had that been had that been displayed before or um even uh, opened I, or you know actually he never told me so i don't know i may have just opened it today hmm. for all i know Oof. i didn't actually ask him well, that's I don't awesome. Either way, I think I mean, it's it looks, particularly rare or anything. It looks brand new. Is it pretty much the same transformation as the pretty... most recent uh, Hasbro uh, Cosmos? It looks like. Uh not really. Okay. It's um, like this is what it looks like. And it's bot mode. Kind of, kind of beefy. Yeah. So yeah, it's got the a lot of the UFO becomes the arms. It's got this bulbous head and a diving and a like scuba suit helmet. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, yeah I think it's fun. Who's the new uh, the female character, Aerolon A- Alien? The in in IDW at the end of IDW is that um that I female jet? That yeah, I, I'm having trouble. But it started with an A, and she was like black yes. and orange. And uh, it, like the silhouette of that toy reminds me of uh, 
of that yeah. character right now. Colors completely. Yeah, different. from the Optimus Prime book. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Aileron? It's yeah. I think something. it's something like Aileron. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely similar shape and and color aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, it's still not right for Pathfinder, right? Like, it's no. still not. It's not her, but it's. I like it better because I I actually like some of the eye gear stuff from back in the day. Well, I mean, it's not. It's homaging the Gobot, but it's really homaging the Transformer that yes. homages the Gobot. So, I mean, it works for that. But yeah, you, it's not your Gobot. Pathfinder. Like. No, it's not my GoBot Pathfinder, but it's, you know, it's getting there. I think this is, I like this better than the New Age version, and I like it better than any, you know, Hasbro version so far, so someday. I need to just get one of the original figures because I need to have that back in my collection. It wasn't a bad toy, actually, the original. I, I bought one a few years ago at a, a, a local shop, and it was very easy to get floppy. Yes. I remember mine was very floppy as a kid. It yeah. floats everywhere. Yeah, but I'm happy with this thing. It's fun. Nice. Okay, I'm looking this up because I, I I was like, what are they even talking about? Yeah, that that's a pretty iconic GoBot toy. Yeah. Like the way it looks yep. and I guess I never knew that was a female. And yeah, it's it's like black and gray. It's not blue. You know why you did it unless they watched no. the cartoon. I watched the cartoon. I just it, it just uh, didn't stick. I don't remember it at all. Yeah, I don't. I remember the liking the toy as a kid, but I don't ever recall seeing her in the cartoon at all. I think she was big in the cartoon. I don't really remember. She, she doesn't have a face. <laughs> no. She kind of looks like a female robot snake eyes. Yeah. There you go. So if they ever make that live action GoBots movie. Um, I'm sure they will give her lips and a nose of and flames. Because that's what you do with figures. She can borrow Netflix Megatron's lips. <laughs> He's got plenty to go around. All right. Thanks for that one. That's that's cool. That's, you know, seven-year-old TFCon exclusive. You don't see that every day. So. Yeah, you don't. Good pickup. Was it an oof? Not really. All right. It was like a, like a eh. Okay, eh. I like it. Wasn't too bad. All right, Phil. Round two. All right. Bring it home. Going mainline here. We got Prowl and Ironhide. Yay! You know, here we go. We got the uh, the two Amazon exclusive two pack here of the uh, Earthrise sculpts. So we got. Prowl with the wrong head, Ironhide with a shield surfboard uh, uh, thing. Um, I mean, I dig them. I, I, I like the Ironhide a lot. The feet sticking off the back in alt mode don't bother me all that much. Um, you know, it, it is, they're, they're both fun toys. Would I like Prowl to have the more accurate head? Sure. Um, What's up with the head? That's news to me. So That's his head is supposed to be pointier. Um, if we look at, but he, the, he doesn't uh, have like here. he doesn't have like uh, smoke screens head, right? I mean, not he's he's not supposed head. to. So if you look at the MP toy here, you can see the um, the the little head crest is a little bit pointier, a little bit sharper, comes up a little bit higher um, than it does on on this guy right here. So if you look at the um, uh, siege. Prowl, the Siege Prowl has more accurate sort of head crest. Uh, a little bit pointier, a little bit more slender. This is much more of the, the smoke screen head crest. Um, so, you know, again, a lot of talk that, hey, they're going to do Netflix versions of Prowl with season two, and then they'll slap on some different paint scheme and give them the right head and we'll hunt it down. Oh, that'll make me so mad. But I mean, I, I mean, they would have to make. Given, a new... I think that's giving Hasbro too much credit. Yeah, they would have. <laughs> they would have to make a new head for that to happen. They didn't like put Prowl on blue balls and like give that head to Prowl, right? I, like, I have is this an opinion or is this I, legit? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because I, I have it, not it's heard an of opinion. This. It's an assumption. Oh, it's I don't know why they couldn't just take the siege head 
the literal head from the siege toy and put it on on this body. Okay, so you're yeah, saying Iron Head's toy is, head is barely changed. They just took mm-hmm. out some of the panel lining. Yeah, I mean, I definitely like this head better than the Siege version. Um, you know, I, I like the the Earth. The, the, I'm sorry, the yeah, the Siege Ironhide is still fun. This is just a little bit better. It's more accurate mm-hmm. to to what I grew up with in the G1, um, and and it's just a, a fun version of of both these guys. Um, you know, I, I feel feel bad for folks who weren't able to get them because you know, once again, you know, people start getting them in hand. Hey, these look neat. Amazon is is gone. So these have gone the way of Skywarp. Who knows if they'll come back? Um, but I'm happy to have them. I'm happy mine came in a, a box that wasn't all dinged up. It was it was a box that the box had the shipper box that had the toy box in it. So other people have just gotten the the box with a sticker slapped on it. So um, I guess I maybe should have you know sought out some other collectors who wanted the box in pristine condition because I could have could have traded and it would have mattered for me because I was I was opening these guys as you can see um, you know they're they're fun I mean if if you if you don't like the siege transformation you're not gonna like these uh, but if you're okay with the siege transformation and uh, and whatnot they're they're both neat to have I think one minor like odd thing I have with this is is that prowl's little little light strip thing can just can just oh it does even just pop out never mind that's why it spins around because you can't just pop it out <laughs> so uh yeah all right uh learn something new real quick um, we, we got a user enots 0407 is, is trying to validate what you're saying here he says it's blue streak's head and siege blue streak has prowl's head i think that's right so yeah i think that that is right i've got siege um stop the press i don't have siege blue streak but i've seen it i think yes that that sounds what i've accurate to what i've seen so lucas christian and i reviewed that figure last night and that was like the one thing that was really tripping me up was just that when i looked at the prowl i was like why is this vifa not long enough why is it too short why would they make it short like this but yeah i think you're I think Enots is right that it's just Blue Streak's head painted probably. Hasbro, why'd you do this? I don't know what it looked like when you were showing it. It's just, I mean, it's a prowl head, but the fins are too short. <laughs> but as a collector base, we're that anal retentive that it feels off. Well, see, I was thinking about getting rid of my MP if I like that one enough. Because I, you know, oh. I would like to have a slightly cheaper collection. But then when I saw the head, I was like, oh, I can't, I can't yeah. compromise. The head has to be right. The, what was this? MP18 plus. Was that the, the newest prowl? The, the sure. animated color one. Um, I, I love this version of prowl. This is by far and above the version of prowl. That is the most prominently displayed one I have. Um, this is decent, but it doesn't, doesn't hold a candle to, to the MP one. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I think they're going in general with that line with similar MP aesthetics, but uh, certainly nowhere near the quality. Yeah. Interesting info on the heads. I did not know. So I'm not yeah, a huge no. Dotson bro. But uh, I'm gonna inspe- I'm gonna investigate that. I, I I'm glad I know that now. It's cool. Good pickup. I'm glad you decided to buy it instead of waiting two months before you decided it was a good thing to get and you couldn't, because that's Dems the breaks. That's how you get the oofs. That's how you get the oofs. You gotta avoid those oofs unless it's a vintage thing. So um, I'm coming in hard with uh, the new uh-huh. stuff today because yeah, you guys all heard of Fangtron because he is hanging out here with my nemesis prime who's all decked out and gunned up look at this this is crazy how much stuff this comes with that's the netflix one yeah this is the new netflix one which um they they stole a bunch of weapons from other people and gave them to them yeah they they put it it basically comes with all the stuff that the power of the primes uh nemesis prime came with this is the power of the primes nemesis prime on a diet this is after he's yeah. retired from the majors he's slimmed down he doesn't need to be as beefy anymore and he comes with red snake ah oh, i see i literally want that set just so i get the stupid snake because i want to make a voltron out of snakes 
Yeah, so so we're here. Actually, you know, Magical. this you can throw this away because I'm really here to talk about Fangtron. Yep. Who I finally got to play Hi. with. Uh, you know, this set also comes with Energon cubes that are in the Play-Doh that <laughs> match uh, Slitherfang pretty good. I'm actually surprised because doesn't isn't Slitherfang kind of clear? Like the purple one, does anyone have it? Uh, Slitherfang is a clear purple, and the promo shots of him looked like he was going to be more clear plastic. I, I, I was surprised at the in hand. I, I thought I could. I expected this to be the same color as like the blast effect, which is clear. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's always mirrored, so I'm having such a hard time doing this. So the blast effect on that comes with it is the Slitherfang blast effect, but it's pink. Okay. Now. And I stuffed the Energon cubes in Nemesis Prime's chest. Cause yeah, why so, not? so they're very they're very similar god I'm so bad at this they're similar but the, but the cubes are clear Fangtron is not unfortunately okay. he, he is purely opaque but it looks cool man this thing has really great articulation yeah the last time I was on here I showed my, my Slitherfang and he is uh, upstairs as part of my city that my son and I are building. And, uh, yeah, I, I ordered that Nemesis Prime for that Fangtron to add more to the city. Yeah. It's, this is, this is going to – okay, the last time the Ultra Magnus was kind of a dud. And remember the – yeah, Rung came in clear translucent plastic too. So I just expect – Yeah. Like this would be so awesome if it was red and clear. It's still, it's still cool. But um, that set was a real dud. Like – you know, it clearanced out at Walmart, and uh, no one really wanted it. They thought they wanted the Rung, but then Rung got re-released in Earthrise. I think it's going to be a different story this time. I think this set is a lot of bang for your buck. It's a Nemesis Prime, and it's still different than the Japanese one, because it's like more of yeah, a at the very gray, least, gray, a really it's dark a Black gray. Optimus Prime, right? For a, yeah, with and, the red, and those, red those windows. Suck. Yeah, not as much teal on this one. This no. one is allowed to go on clearance if it'd like to. <laughs> it still may, because remember, it's still an unwindow box toy. But I think they avoided the problem. I did not get this at Walmart. This was available through um, online retailers this time. So, you know, I think they are trying to avoid the problem they had with Ultra Magnus at Walmart. And, uh, you know, they. they I wish they would just that. avoid Walmart. It'd be really nice. Me too. It's probably not happening anytime soon. I like to order my figures online and get them. Me too. So yeah, again, this is, you know, it said Giza on the box too. Well, this is Giza. It's, you know, the sword from... Oh, it does come with it. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. I'm doing this. Yes, all the accessories of Power of the Primes plus, you know, the, the... Road Builder, Snake Dude, and Blast Effects, and Energon Cubes. I, I mean, I really love the Power of the Primes Nemesis, so it was impossible for me to get that one, but it does look cool. Now, I forget, does he come with a trailer or no? Oh, yeah, it comes with a butt. So, <laughs> this is there, too. So, it's the Siege Mold, but the Earthrise trailer? Correct. Okay. Which is kind of like throwing... Throw me for a loop. You, I mean, you could easily not realize that, but that is totally what's happening here. This is the Siege Mold with the Earthrise trailer in black. And a snakey and, and Power of the Prime's accessories. And Snick. So I'd, I'd get it. I and think my pre-order notification came in the other day. Nice. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, pro probably because, like I said, yeah. it's it's hitting like probably BBTS, probably TF Source, probably Chosen Prime, all the all the big dogs. So um, be on the lookout, and you can probably find them at your Walmart if you're willing to get COVID. So let's go to round three. Final round. All right. Well, I'll talk about him for real now. Um, and what do we got? Who do we got there? Ready for the we audio got, listeners. We got. Masterpiece Tigatron, which oh. is an is an oof. 
It, well, oh, I don't yeah. feel like it was an oh, oof it, because... I, it, I think that might be the biggest oof of the night so far, so I'm going to play the big oof. oof. Yeah, um, yeah, he costs a lot. Oh, he's so good, though. He's so amazing. Like, I, I don't think he's better than Dinobot. I don't think he's better than Megatron, but I think he's better than the rest. He is like he is like the third best masterpiece Beast Wars figure, and he's wow. he, and anyone out there who thinks you know he's just an upscaled Cheetor, he a hundred percent not. There is nothing on him that is just an upscale of Cheetor. Um, Transformation is totally different. The uh, all the parts are different, and, and he's he's different, and he's amazing. He's got like one flaw if you look at him from the back and beast mode, but other than that, amazing. So you don't Super consider pretty. the fact that he's obese in beast mode to be a flaw? Oh, I mean, he was fat as a tiger in the show. <laughs> Tigers can be fat, man. They're all muscle. He's not a tiger, he's a tiger. <laughs> he is. And yep, but I mean, and I love like so the the white is like super like that's why um I, I would love to see it compared to your uh, to bug bite but the white on him is is just like a super like nice white paint um, and it looks really nice compared to like the more like flat I don't know what to call the color of the of the tiger. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of contrast there. It, it almost feels like, because uh, if you own the Takara version and the and the, uh, and the the original version, uh, the Hasbro version of the original toys, like the, the Hasbro version was like a yellow, like off-white, while the Takara version was the very crystal white. Like, I feel like you could take the two of them and mash them together to get this same sort of look that he has going. Mm -hmm. um, so it's almost like a best of both worlds. I wonder if your camera like accentuates the difference between the whites because one of them looks so much more yellow than the yeah. Yeah, it, it is actually. I think it. I think the camera actually makes it look less different. like different. Really? Um, because it, it's a it's a very it's a very different. Like this is a very like uh, like Arctic white, where this is a like yeah yellowish um, like off white. Um, like a dirty white tiger. Yeah, 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 exactly. A zoo tiger. <laughs> but he's great. Um, I couldn't recommend him enough. That's and good you don't to, have hear. to worry about, You don't have to worry about the... Because uh, Cheetor had the same sort of wiry, like, little whiskers, but they folded inside of his body, and they got all bent out of shape and all messed up, so whenever you transform him after that, they're all, all over the place. You don't have to worry about that, because he has a real chest. Like Tigatron did. Oh, so that's actually the front of the yeah yeah. This tiger is mode? this is full on the, mm. the tiger head and the cheetah. That's so much nicer. So not Chidor to have to shove those whiskers like inside. No, mm. Cheetor, you have to shove his whiskers in his chest, and it sucks. Okay, that's yeah, scary. Yeah, yeah, it definitely sucks. Um, but at the same time, like in the show, Cheetor had that like stretched out head on the and on his chest where Tigertron didn't if you look at Tigertron's model it is just the tiger head on his chest. I take the um, cheetah face off Cheetor when I transform him because I can't stand shoving it in there. It's it, I I don't blame you. Like I said, his whisker like my cheetah's whiskers are all messed up. Yeah, I can't stand <laughs> doing that to him. F Phil's coming in clutch with the visual aid right now. Yeah, so here Yay. you can see the Cheetor the chest Cheats is not the Cheetor head, the Cheetah head for the Cheetor chest. So, yeah, that is uh, that is a big difference there. I don't think I have turned him back into Cheetah mode since putting him in bot mode. But uh, I was definitely in the camp that thought, and Paul yelled at me several times, that I thought Tigatron was just upscaled of, of Cheetor no, with some new look, parts. Like if yes, you look like, even on the back, like the way this is pulled oh, yeah. up. The yeah. entire the entire assembly on the leg here is is yeah. entirely different. Like just the way it transforms and stuff, because um, it actually, if you remember how you transform your Cheetor, um, his back, the back of the Cheetah is the 
is the um, is the um, part that sort of splays out, and and so his um, or no, his back sort of ends up on the che- on Cheetor's back. If you were to transform him back into robot mode or mm-hmm. into beast mode, the cheetah's back is is Cheetor's back. Where on or no, other way around, the the belly is Cheetor's back. Where this actually is, uh, he folds out completely opposite. Um, yeah, I think I'm trying to stare at mine. Yeah, so the, the this is actually the back of um, the beast mode for Tigertron, where on Cheetor that would be the belly of the cheetah. Yeah, uh, on his yeah, back is the the Cheetor uh, cheetah belly. You can see the yeah. the paleness on the back, where that would be like the. The, the light color on the cheetah's stomach there. So, wow. Work myself wow. all into all into confusion. But yeah, and it's, I kind of cheats out. They didn't. Dang it. I've been kind of eyeing that and was thinking of passing, and now I'm... Ooh. Well, ooh. It's good. more of an oof now than it was, because it, it bottomed out on Amazon Japan like a week or two ago. Yeah, I saw. I still pricey with the shipping so I, I was i was i was tempted to click buy but i i reeled myself in you wouldn't want to get too many packages in one week right no no that's uh it's consequences you know, for such action. can't have stuff delivered to work during uh work from home quarantine i feel your pain <laughs> yeah well when you make work home and it all is coagulated don't have to worry about that. Um, very good final pick, Swift. I really haven't seen that toy myself, so it's nice to see all the details. You want one? Kind of, yeah, you do. I kind of. <laughs> but, I, but I don't have any Beast Force toys, so I'd like to keep it that way. Uh, Anna, but tired your turn. So oh, mm-mm, we've right. moved on. <laughs> that was Are a, you ready? Blue Man Kuma. There was no response needed to that comment. Are you ready for the thrill of the night? Bring it. This is going to be the thrill of the evening. I hope. This is going to be something obscure that no one has ever heard of and no one cares about. Is, It'll is, be great. Is this going to make the thumbnail? So the last two? <laughs> is it going to what? Is, sorry. Uh, is this going to make the thumbnail? Uh, I doubt it. I don't know. It's pretty small. I don't know if you can find pictures of it because it's it's so strange. But you have a new friend. Big teeth? What? Oh, <laughs> Rob was talking about these the other day. I think so. It's a little dinosaur. What is that? It's a tiny little T Rex guy. At Were first we I talking thought about it was this the in the text chain? What text chain? I thought that was literally the dinosaur puppet, the big one, the purple. The Jurassic clumps. Park T Rex thing? Yeah, I thought it was purple yeah. clumps or whatever it is. Oh, this is this is tidy. Yeah, you know, here it is up to my face. Here well, I, I was thinking because they they actually had like the little they have like little chibi uh, dinosaur figures for Jurassic World. Uh, I saw I a think, Target the other day. I think this is actually my friend said that this is actually those molds repurposed. Is it? As. Amazing Transformers. <laughs> oh my god, he's so like just chubby and and it's like kind of cute, but the face doesn't look cute. It has and a symbol. Yeah, it, this this is a Beast Wars Megatron face with no mouth. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a different dinosaur, ever so slightly. It's the same exact mold, just with the Different dino head. Okay. That's kind of horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> it, the transformation is fantastic because it just, you spin the face around yeah. to the back. While you <laughs> just go King Kong on the jaw. Yeah, it looks pretty the jaw. <laughs> And then this spins around to the back. And then the feet go back. You press them down. And then his arms are hidden in the jaw halves. Oh, my. And 
The head is hidden in the chest. This one has a completely different head, which I'll show you. You pull the arms back, pull the chest up, tuck these arms under the pads of the dinosaur face. And then you have a beautiful little freak. Wow. Whose head is that? I don't know this one. It looks familiar. It looks very familiar. Anna, you want the show to be called Random Transforming Robots That Aren't Transformers So Bad. <laughs> that's what I try for. That's, that's what I live for. Show. I yeah. And I, I don't know why this um, tell actually articulates. I don't actually know what the purpose of this is. But, weapon storage is there does he it come with have something weapons. that looks yeah. like a, a combining peg or something it does i know and i would love it if these were secretly combiners and i got to make a combiner out of well yeah what if they what if like they have dinosaurs. dinosaur face hands or something that could be crazy oh that'd be great <laughs> this little guy they're so cute these are super weird so a friend of mine who's into weird toys like i am he sent me a pair of these as my birthday present, and I was thrilled to get these. So where would... It's all the other person I'd buy them. Yeah, where would you, you get what? something like that? He probably, knowing him, he probably ordered it off a random AliExpress seller. That's what I'd imagine he got them from. He said he got a four-pack. He took two for himself and two for me, so we could split the lovely dinosaurs. Yeah, I know I've seen promo shots of them. Like a friend texted out some promo shots, but I, other than that, I had no idea where these things come from. The depths of hell. <laughs> to show you love. The heads look so <laughs> intimidating, and the pudgy little stomachs just, nope, nope, no more intimidation. They're oh, scary little guys. They're just scary little guys. Yeah, they're He's like one of those dudes that if he came running at you, you just put your hand out and hold his head as he was like. <laughs> yeah, they're not really articulated. You know, the legs move back and forth, and you get the little ankle joint just so it becomes a little more foot like as a robot. But whatever. Who cares? It doesn't need to be articulated. It's perfect. <laughs> As it is. So yeah, three toys, no official Transformers. <laughs> the least obscure thing I showed tonight was a TFCon 2013 nice. exclusive. Oh yeah, I love it. Keeping us on our toes every week. As promised. Very interesting. Something I, I mean, I, I didn't even know that existed. So I, I really Me liked, either. I really like the dinosaur modes. Those are cute. I was so thrilled. <laughs> so so did you get it in the mail and open it up in the package before you knew it was a thing? Was that your first ex exposure to it? Was just getting the box and like, hey, here's here's yeah, something. Yeah, it was. Me? My wow. friend is classy. He sent me a um a what do you call a priority email box with a paper bag <laughs> inside of it. So I had to open the paper bag and it had those two in it and some other toys as well, but these are the cool things from the paper bag there was a bot bot and some other random official toy nonsense and then oh, yeah those are definitely the coolest dinosaur perfection that the head that's killing me i want to i recognize that head i, yeah, I feel me. like it looks like an aerial bot head but i don't i don't know it makes me think aerial bot too it kind of looks to me like Swoop from IDW with his big, And then it also looks eyes. like a Dinobot, yeah. They could be going for all Dinobots. Maybe. I mean, yeah. This Megatron could double as a Grimlock on a rainy day. I almost feel like it looks like the head of one of the random helicopters from one of the movies that wasn't in the movie, but it made a toy and gave it a head. But... It know. has a little bit of, uh, was it Double Cross the Dragon? It has a little bit of a feel like that with the blue eye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
So I yeah. thought the whole face was blue at first, and I was like, oh, it's Dinobot! But uh, <laughs> then you zoomed in, and it was just those big old bug eyes. Just the visor. Yeah, and just one random thing about these guys, or one more thing. Like, they're not low quality at all. Like, you would expect this to be, like, some crappy, like, super thin bootleg toy plastic. They're high-quality, stable, well-made Transformer plastic. They're... You're not buying these at a big lots. No, they're good toys. They're just... Who in their right mind would want these? Me. That's who. (laughs) Right? (laughs) We know how to curate our weirdos. But both symbols are the same? They're not, like, good guy, bad guy? Ah. Yeah, they're the same. It's this, like... I don't know what the heck it is, simple. I don't know. Now that I'm getting all these weird KOs, none of my toys have proper symbols anymore. They all have weird blobs on them. To repro labels. Ah, these guys are great. So I'm very proud to share the best toys of the night with you all. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Phil. This is it. So, Thunder Howl Yay. is a toy from Cyberverse that I like, but he's not who we're talking about. <gasps> Thunder Howl, though, came with McAdam's head. Ta-da. So, we go from transforming non-transformer to non-transforming transformer. So, I believe first ever build a figure for... Transformers. I'm a big Marvel Legends guy too. It's the second, second one, dog. Sec. All right, all right. Who's the other one? Uh, help me out. From, uh, the oh, Beast yes, Wars. yes. You're right. You're right. I I'm not a Beast Wars guy, so I I forgot about that uh, that that hideous nightmare. <laughs> Don't you take fuel. our thunder? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so I apologize, but yeah, McAdams, build a figure Transformer. Um, he doesn't scale as well with the other ones, which is a bit disappointing. Um, is he, I don't the same, he, is ever... he the same height, at least? Yeah, that's what I was saying. He doesn't scale as well. Let me get... I, I threw Thunder Howl to the side, and he fell on the floor, but he's okay. I never thought Thunder Howl um, in the corner. So, oh my god, he is shorter. Yeah, he is shorter. I, I would say considerably so, and, and I've got RC over here, too. And... Uh, I mean, and the for... worst part is... Go ahead. Oh, I yeah, just said, our, the worst part is you'll never get a, a an in scale one because they don't want to. They're not. They don't want to step on their own feet with the build a figure. I, I mean, yeah, I don't think you ever see him transform in the show, so I don't even know he. Has, I mean, he's obviously some sort of car truck thing. Although I'm assuming this is a spare tire on his back because uh, he's got a fifth wheel. Um, but but yeah, even compared to RC, who's one of the sh- smaller Cyberverse toys, he is considerably smaller i mean they 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 show him in the cartoon to be a little bit you know he's not he's he's stockier but he's not like danny devito stockier where he's yeah. like a foot shorter than everybody no, else he's actually but, a big guy yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. he was pretty pretty large but um i mean i don't know if mcadams appeared anywhere before the show i mean obviously mentioned in the idw books yeah um but i don't think he ever had an appearance before the show so it's uh I mean, I didn't. I hadn't seen the show when they first showed the toy. I think at a toy fair or you know one of the comic cons, and it was just like, who who on earth is this? Because it's a it's a fun design. It's a you know again, Cyberverse did some new designs, some unique designs. You know, I I, I really like his little hammer. It's very very Battle Beasts uh, style little little hammer mace thing he's got there, and um, yeah, he's he's a fun dude. He's he's well articulated. He's hollow all the way around so i mean he feels very light not only is he short but he feels very light but i mean he he moves around pretty well ball joints everywhere i wish he had a little more ankle articulation um or or, uh, you know he does have wrist articulation actually but um yeah he's just you know glad to have him glad i was finally able to find thunder howl so i could slap the head onto uh mech adams here and finally have uh this guy built i think what it take about a year, um, yeah. which is, is pretty unusual for a build a figure to be spread out over that long a period of time. But uh, I mean, he's he's not he's not 
He's not Tigatron level oof, but I mean, if you pay full retail Plus, for all eight toys to get him, he's he's 160 bucks in order I, to build this you little get dude. That oof. I'll give you that oof. I'll no, you that. Got, I'll give it a big oof. Yeah. You got right seven now, you got an oof. out of it or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not unhappy with any of the uh, Cyberverse toys. In fact, I was quite surprised at how much I did enjoy them. Um, yeah. I, I mean, the first I, I remember I was going to pass on it, and then I saw the Bumblebee sitting on uh, Paul's shelf in his house there, and I was like, that looks good. Some and, of them are. Uh, I think the deluxes are, are quite good. Yeah, if if the rumors are true that they're going to do more, I'm I'm on board. I'm on board for them. I'm pretty sure that they're going to do more. Um, my question is just like, okay, are they going to do more? Are they going to do more? Um, are they going to do another build a figure or not? And if they do know. another build a figure, that means they got to release. I mean, well, I don't know, at least eight toys, right? Not necessarily. I mean, you could pare it down to. You could give more pieces with one Transformer, probably. Um, you make a smaller character. Yeah. 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 I, I really love uh, the design they did for Bludgeon in that show. So if we ever got a, uh, a Bludgeon from Cyberverse, that would be pretty sweet. Because he was just a silent badass in that show. Still got to watch I... it. Still got to watch it. We yeah, do. With you. People keep making a better case for it. <laughs> yeah. And they're, they're short, so you can rip through them pretty quickly. Yeah, I watched the episode with Thunder Hell in it before I reviewed Thunder Hell just to see what he was like. And it was fun. Yeah. It was a cute little episode. Yeah. Um, the I will say, going back to Thunder Hell, the, there was another Thunder Hell toy they did, a simpler version that's more spot on to the I'm animation sure. model. The it's deluxe what I was version trying to is... tell the guys on the show. It is so yeah. much more accurate. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> is that the larger one? The larger yes. version? Yeah. It's the larger version that's, I think, got some some gimmick to it. Um, Get yeah, Thund- armor. Yeah, Thunder Howl, he's, he's not bad. I, I, he's a he's an interesting transformation. I will say, if you like it's Beast, weird. you know, Transformers, it is not a transformation that you would guess from looking at him. Um, it, there's, there's some weird folding of the torso that you yeah. do. That is, uh, I am. I like my, I like my beast robot. And, and he's a he's beast a robot, robot knight with a energon crackle effect. Um, that that I, becomes I love like including effects. It's so great. yeah. Although someone on another TFYLP episode said that's one of their least favorite uh, gimmicks uh, is is blast effects. So, but yeah, uh, well, he's wrong. It's okay. Yeah, that, that was. Yeah. I think we know who that was. <laughs> yeah. So, no, but man, I think they need more you. swappable hands. They need more accessories. They need swappable faces. They need blast effects. And I need all of that. That's because we collect animated toys. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's what Marvel Legends is doing, too. Hasbro's is doing that with Marvel Legends. And it's 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 seeping somewhat into Transformers. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the blast effects that they're doing with the Cyberverse toys in general were, were pretty fun. I love the... Uh, the blast effect that comes with Optimus, so you can make this blast come out of his Matrix chest. Yeah, that's cool. That is neat. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of nice, or it's interesting that we're talking about Cyberverse so much because this is kind of the 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 three st- cast members here. We kind of have a history with uh, Cyberverse and podcasting, and it's just funny. We reminded ourselves of it before the show. And yeah, it would be nice to be able to finish that Cyberverse series. I need to sp- spend some time to do it. Yeah, my friend sent me a Cyberverse story too, but it's not nearly as thrilling. Oh yeah, that's the the weird size class, right? The smaller. Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. but you know what? He would skill right with McAdam. Probably, yeah. Hey, you're right. If There's still get a scout class too. Yeah, he would look fine with McAdam, but he's kind of poopy. But. <laughs> okay, well, this is the last one. We've been going for. Almost an hour and a half. I think. Uh, Almost. We got ten minutes before we hit that mark, and it's not like we have a time limit or anything. Um, but you know, people have lives to wake up for in the morning. So bring that finalizer. I'm glad this group is here because I have been holding off on telling almost anyone that I have this toy, and I think um, this is a fitting group because of some of the other toys you have shown off. Uh, the show was was. 
was incognito for a while and not going on, and so I never got a chance to share this, but I got this bird scream. Yay! Oh, you got it! <laughs> I almost pulled mine down for this episode, but... Oh, you did get it! I do have it, yeah, but he has his buddies are standing on his uh, his display base, and I was like, it would be a pain in the butt to take him down. I'm going to leave him up there. Well, honestly, you might be better to talk about this than me, because I took it out of the box, put it in the stand... And that that that's all I'm ever doing. <laughs> Have you heard of it? No, look, no. I look at the instructions, <laughs> and I, I messed with you know some of these parts, and I'm like, uh, uh-uh. uh, you know, <laughs> like this isn't for me. This is like exactly what I hate about third party toys. But look at this guy. Look at how great he, that is. He is. He is wow. not. He's not poor quality. He is squeaky. I think is the big thing. Um, it, it's so I. I've transformed him several times. I don't feel like he's going to break. He's just really squeaky. Um, but, yeah, he's big. He's he's really big. Um, he was, like, oh, three times bigger than I expected. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's bigger than all the other ones that are based on that uh, that um, that art book, Jeez. the Dojin art book. Um, he's much larger. He's also, like, the least accurate of all of them. Like, they took, like, a lot of liberties with him, and he's got... Um, his legs don't transform quite like they do in the art. Um, they turn into this, like big thruster pack on the back of the, um, on the back of the the eagle mode. But he's really cool. Like, like and he looks really cool. Uh, I actually have mine displayed with uh, with the wings um, out in robot mode. Oh yeah. Because in my head canon, like when he's flying, they're out. But when he's not flying, they fold in. That's my head cannon for his wings, um, but it's really cool that they fold in and form that nice like wing profile, um, so that he I mean, he's you know Whoa. you can't yeah. you you can't mistake him for anyone other than Starscream. <laughs> How does he compare size wise? Do, do you know to the the Perfect Effects Beast Wars Metal uh, Megatron? The the right there the big red dragon dude because I feel it, like that it, it, looks it, like they'd be similar. He is about the same height. He's okay. he a slightly taller. Okay. Wow. Um, it's huge. And yeah, it's the more than a foot tall. The, the wingspan tall. might be similar. Yeah. I didn't. I, I did not think he'd be that big. My one gripe is that I, I try to put all the accessories on a toy if I can in some way, even if it looks ridiculous. But these like laser sword blasts that come out of his his like wrists, which is yeah. a really cool effect, and they're slanted how they go in, so they fit really well. But they don't stay in for shit. Like they can just mm-hmm. fall right out of there, like like you know, like that. So Ew. that part. Yeah, that's, only, that's that's my only gripe. The thing it, to me, this is just like a wild looking star scream that I just kind of had to get, and I did not expect it to be this have this much oomph to it when I got it. He's I, meaty. He's big. Well, because I saw you with... I, thought, I saw you showing the side swipe and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay. They're like, you know, they're like Deluxe or Voyager. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> no. I, I, yeah, the uh, the Primal... The Primal, the Hot Rod, and the... And Starscream are, are, rel- are relatively large figures. Um... Sideswipe and Bumblebee are smaller figures. Did did you say the name of the toy? Because I don't even... It's Red Falcon something, right? Yeah, I think it's Red Falcon. Yeah, so um, it's a third-party I, toy yeah. that turns into a bird star screen. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the company. It's like Hung, Hungoli or something like that. Um, they apparently did knock off Gundam model kits for a long time. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Well, that's a rare third-party piece from yours truly and i think that wraps us up for the night uh thanks everyone for watching we had looks like about 12 at, at one point i think we had 12 15 people so uh enots thanks Catherine, zaldron good good guy lucas was in there big daddy reviews and um you know this is the second episode still a little a little shaky but we're getting there um and you know, we have lots of other shows on the TF Talk Network. We have Microcasters on 
Tuesdays, which you can find on the T- TF Talk Facebook page. Um, cut the tape on Fridays and Saturdays. And TFYLP, our flagship show with a ensemble cast that changes almost every week. It's usually on Mondays at 8.30 p.m. Central. And you can follow us. You can support the show by jo- joining us on Patreon at TFYLP. And all of our social channels are at TFYLP. And we just do this for fun because we like each other and decide to make everybody watch us like each other and talk to each other. So thanks a lot. We may be back next Wednesday, but uh, we might be doing every other week too. So just kind of check out Wednesday nights, 830. We may or may not be on. Look for the premiere stream that will tell you if we have a show coming. So that's a wrap. If anyone wants to say bye, this is your chance. Farewell. Come hang out with me and Anna in Discord. Yes, we do have a Discord. We'll bring uh, dinosaurs. Bitly slash TF Talk Discord is a good way to get there. Or you, there's links in the chat and in the description for this video. Please like and share. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.